Hello and welcome to Watch Me Draw Wednesdays. Today we'll be drawing a pug for young artists. Um, it's still a fun doodle to do. I already started because I had to delete something and I, someone came in here and I guess paused the video and my and I guess they thought they could pause the video. But that's okay because I bet you can just pause the video and copy this down if you need to. It's perfectly fine. I'll keep it here for a second if I need to. And let's get started again. So it's perfectly optional if you want to make it like it's smiling. But if you want to, you're going to make like cheeks. Like, like this, like rainbow lines, just without the excess. And then for the head, you're going to do like a butt chin. Butt chin. This is definitely not my best work. If you've heard of Puga Chun or you're a subscriber to her channel, you'll know that we're both ex obsessed with pugs. And she knows that I'm an incredible artist. Not to brag. And so the ear, you're going to make like a heart shape with a line in the middle. And I forgot the whiskers. The whiskers. Pugs don't really have whiskers. But if you go on Google Plus and you look up Peter's Animal Friends, I have a picture of my other pug named Penny. And she has like walrus whiskers, but she has them for days. And so let's get started again. For the other ear, you're going to do the same thing. And don't forget to watch Art for Kids Hub if you want to do a, learn how to do a more realistic pug. And you're gonna wanna try to do even lines for this part. Like, imagine that, like, you can do a light sketch of the line. Like, it's going through its, its tongue, which it kind of is. So, here's the head. And now we're gonna do the body. We're going to do like a pretty easy body. I'm also doing this for, for Puka Chun. Because she doesn't know how to do a pug. And don't ask why one foot is farther than the other. It's like it's walking. And... We're going to do the toes. Pretty easy. Just some line. And then the donut. And if you accidentally did it too big, that's okay. Just draw another line. Your pug and name I gave Peter. I gave my pug the name of Peter. And if you want to, you can do a little heart right there, like I did. And there we go. We are done. Sorry. And recording the video. And if you want to do like it was actually walking, you can do little footprints back behind it. Like it was walking and like some grass. Terrible grass. Yes, I know. Eh. More grass behind it like it's actually in a backyard. In the sun. My sun is kind of creepy, I know. <laughs> Derpy sun. Yay! And some birds. Alright, 